Hello, genealogist. It's Craig again from Just Genealogy. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite books. Sometimes genealogy can be murder. That's not the title of the book. Today, I want to talk to you about a must-read book, Only a Few Bones. Let's see if I can get it to, there we go, by John Philip Coletta. A true account of anybody who doesn't like his stories. Family lore claimed that John's ancestor, whose last name was Ring, and since I have Ring ancestors, I always tried to figure out if John's ancestor was my ancestor, but that wasn't to be the case, was murdered in Mississippi in 1873. Newspapers and court records said the man and four other victims were killed and incinerated in his remote country store, but the case was never solved. After 30 years of investigating, the great-great-grandson, that's John, of the slain carpetbagger, whose charred remains were only a few bones, reveals what really happened at Rolling Fork Landing on that night on March 4th, 1873. Helen Henchcliffe once told me, at least I thought she did, that it needed to be read twice once just for the fun of it, and a second time to take notes on how the author made his ancestors into living people. You know, the breathing, human kind of being. How many times have you read a family narrative and wished you were dealing with someone other than a hatch, match, and dispatch person doing genealogy? Personally, I like fat ancestors, and all of these are very fat, genealogically speaking. I really don't agree with Helen. I think you you can learn more by reading it three times. This is from a guy who rarely reads a book from cover to cover more than once unless he has to. And I've read it three times. Once for the story, it's a great story. And I'm not going to share the story with you beyond what I've already said because I don't want to ruin it for you. Once for the source, the end notes, and documentation. If you're like me, you like to read every end note or footnote I actually prefer footnotes. No one can complain about a lack of documentation in only a few bones. And finally, a third time to see how he weaves the story and the documentation all together to make it come alive. This is the worst thing about genealogies. They're not alive. They don't always give you a sense of walking in your ancestors' footsteps kind of thing. Every genealogist should read this book three times. I may have to read it a fourth time since it's really been a while. It gets worse. It is a new and expanded revised edition. After he wrote it the first time in 2000, he found more and then some more and expanded the edition in 2015. So today I bring you that sometimes genealogy can be murder and that there's a new edition although it's not really new anymore, of Only a Few Bones by John Philip Coletta. And it's available at Heritage Books. And if you use the discount code GENEALOGYJOHN, you will get 20% off on this book. Thank you all so very much for being with me tonight, today, this afternoon, whatever it is. And this has been Just Genealogy, where we are converting people doing genealogy into genealogists day by day. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much.